Hey everybody, it's Colette Baron reed and welcome to the Universal Energy Forecast for this very last week of 2015. We are entering the week of December the 28th. We're coming up to New Year's and we're beginning a beautiful, hopefully better new year in 2016. So um, it was a very interesting reading this week and I'm sure those of you who read my blog um, already know that last week was very eventful for us and our family. And uh, it's an interesting reading that follows this for all of us because last week's um, universal energy forecast was a bit tumultuous. And then this week it's interesting because it's all about endings. So I'm um, going to just tell you what it says, okay? So the first card is time to go. And it's this beautiful woman who is walking towards a door. So even though she's leaving something behind, she's walking across a bridge over clouds and into a doorway. And so as we leave 2015 behind, we walk towards something new. And we're on that bridge in between those two worlds. And so we don't know what's ahead, but we know we cannot go back. So this is a really great card for us all to contemplate um, an inventory of our experience from 2015. I always love to do that at the end of the year anyway, but it really is calling for us to do that now, to take a really good hard look at what our experience was in 2015, know what we want to leave behind, some of the things we're going to be forced to leave behind. But ultimately we are walking towards something new, something uncharted, something undiscovered yet. So we can't expect to know it yet, just know that it is time for us to move towards it. Now the next card is Yin in the protection position. So that is about radical acceptance. And it's hard to accept change uh, when you have an idea of how your life is supposed to be. Even good change, um, if you're not prepared for it, if you don't know what it is and, and you're, you're unprepared of how to deal with it or you haven't worn that part of your life yet, is also can be stressful. So know that this week we ponder as well the idea of radical acceptance when we don't have a choice about certain things for example also because radical acceptance asks us to to really address the area if we do want to change something we have to first radically accept it in its form in its entirety um, before we can actually change something or really say goodbye to something as well. We have to know it. We can't be in denial. It really is about rigorous honesty, which is the theme that started last week, all about truth be told. And that was the last card, really recognizing the evolution of truth and finding out what's really going on, and then radically accepting that this is the way it is. And surrender is also part of that too. So when you, you have to surrender to the truth in order to move be past it and beyond it. Um, and the next card is flexible. I love that card. It's kind of a strange creature on top of an egg. Um, there's an implication of birth in that card, but also realizing that we have to let go our old ideas, let go our old concepts of what we have projected onto things so that we think things should be exactly a certain way, but we really don't know anyway, so how can we? imagine those things we don't know them yet so it's suggesting for us to drop our rigidity or any kind of ideas that we go in that we think are static and be open-minded enough to see things through a different lens and a different perspective moving into 2016 flexibility is key and we've gotten that as a theme a lot over the past few weeks the last card is soulmates in the protection position so um, it's particularly poignant for us. Again, you'll have to read my blog, um, but um, soulmates in, a re in the protection position reminds us that not everybody stays with us in the manner in which we have an expectation about them. Sometimes friendships change and they have to change according to you know, your own personal evolution. Sometimes you outgrow people. Sometimes it's, not a, it's just not possible for you to remain close to somebody. Sometimes you lose people through death or um, other kinds of losses. Um, but the feeling that soul bond is still there, so it doesn't matter that things evolve and change. The truth is, is that that beauty, that love, that, that moment of destiny, that forever or long you're meant to be with that person or animal or, um, you know, a relationship, that we have to acknowledge the evolutionary process, which means change is going to come. So we can never hold on too tightly to anybody that we love or 
or have too many expectations that they're going to provide something for us that we project onto them. So this soulmates card in the protection position really requires us to look at how our relationships play out and our expectations of them and to let them go so that they can be themselves and stand beside us. So it's also if you are um, experiencing changes or experiencing difficulties, for example, in a relationship, this reminds you that everything really is perfect as it is, that there are so many layers of potentialities in the world and the universe works in such extraordinary ways that we have always have to remember the beauty. Even if we walk away from them, the beauty that was there initially and that has helped us change and grow as people. Um, and it's also talking about um, really paying attention to the loved ones that you have, uh, the loved ones that are alive, that you seed love everywhere you go, that every person in front of you, if you can behave as, the, if, as if the God in that person mattered, and that you, know, you are unified with that person, no matter whether they're of a religious background that is different from you, different color, it's really also reminding us that we're all human beings and we are all the same. It is just the way our minds operate and the beliefs that we've taken on that cause us to be divisive. So this is again asking us to look at the concept of unity when we go into 2016 as well. So this is a heavy week. The last two weeks have been heavy, heavy readings. But anyway, um, one thing that I know personally and that this year has taught me, I mean a lot of change has come, some of which we initiated for ourselves and a lot of things happened with us and our family that we didn't plan for or we didn't necessarily want. But I know one thing is that every step of the way I have trusted that spirit has a, has a plan beyond my human understanding and I don't ser ser search for fairness anymore so much as much as the strength to radically accept whatever is in front of me and to be the best person that I can be to meet life on life's terms as well as paying attention to how I manifest the world because those two things are true and entering into 2016 we have to remember that we are powerful co-creators we are powerful manifestors we can co-create an extraordinary world but we also have to surrender to life on life's terms us as an individual we can tune into the divine, but we don't always have access to the plans of the divine. And that's that tension of opposites that all of us have to know is part of the human condition, part of life. Let's see what we need to focus on for 2016 to make it be the best year for us possible. And I gotta be honest, I was a bit nervous that there might be some other wacky cards, but no, thank you, God. So we got Co-Create, one of my most favorite cards in the deck, and truth be told, this is all about being authentic. As you go into 2016, no more BSing yourself about anything. Snap out of denial, be very clear about who you are, and co-create, trusting that spirit is your manifesting partner. Spirit has your back, no matter what, no matter what loss, no matter what, what highs or lows that you have, you are in partnership with spirit, and as long as you're being authentic, your contribution to the world will be awesome and you are going to see magic. And I believe that 2016 is going to be a year we're going to see some miracles. Anyway, I wish you the most amazing last week of the year and I wish you entering into 2016 that you enter into it with intention and that intention is to be the best version of yourself that you can be, not to deny anything in your life but be willing to have an open mind be willing to be flexible, and to be willing to do whatever it takes to make the world a better place. Mwah. God bless you all. Take care. See you in 2016. Bye. And if you like this video, well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment because I do read them and I comment back. See you in 2016. Traveling down the road, I didn't know that I was lost. I had tried too many shortcuts and the cost left my heart broken. So I had it closed for a